Supercross champion begins now. The whole shot goes to Mooskin coming inside. Tomac alongside Barnabar. Turns to favor and passes Tomac back in the next turn. Roxon has been making statements throughout the offseason. Can he be quick for the full race distance? And Tomac, number three, comes by to take second, and Muskan retaliates. They're far to bar. Wide. And Tomac inches by, then Muskan. It's a packed house here as a Kawasaki rider takes it back at 11. Here comes Dungey going for third. Muskan and Jason Anderson all trained together in Florida at the same compound. Takes the line away. Crowd getting on their feet because Dungey's on the move. Seconds behind your leader, Ken Roxon, right now. Roxon's last. And Muskan's going aggressively to the inside. Couldn't make the pass. And, uh, that's what they're focusing on. See what the uh, team will do is they'll have it mapped out. In, a in that camp, that would be disastrous. Well, that's right, especially for how well he was. The beginning of his race was going for him. Not really sure what's going on. Not sure if he tightened up. In the season opening round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross. The season opener goes to Ken Roxon. Tomac will finish a frustrated fifth. Military Appreciation Night. Drop that gate. Muskan tried to work the inside. Teammate goes in on him. To Reb oh, Muskan almost loops out. He's off the track. Muskan goes right to inside of Muskan. Here come the two title combatants. Dungey. Roxy comes right after him. Oh, and Dungey still. But he's managed to stabilize it. He's got his focus back. He's in third. Back in sixth place. So we'll see if Tomac can get, get back it. behind him. Tomac looking inside. Takes him up high. Tungy leading his first laps here tonight of the year. Didn't lead any in Anaheim. Roxon won it last week and Dungy was second. Now Roxon is able to win this medal battle. What if Dungy is able to win it? Prepared for the season. He just doesn't seem as worried. He doesn't seem as stressed and he doesn't have that pressure. Look at Roxon inside the champ. Passes him in this crowd here. They're close. Trying to say, okay, my turn to lead. Let's see what you do. Well, Roxanne, of course, has been star. Uh oh. Oh, Tomac. Watch it from KTM Spider Cam. Anderson now inside here. Pushing, oh. and Tomac stands it up. You're Roxanne. Do you try to break him here, or do you wait and push later? Oh, yeah. You try. I mean, just under three minutes coming up. It's just sizing him up. I, I feel like he's definitely gotten better corners, and uh, I mean, this is where Ken really pulls away in the woods. Either way, will one of these two Titans make a mistake? It's gonna be one to go this time by White. Going to be mistake free. Dungey has to take a shot. He sized him up. Here he looks inside to check up a little bit, but he's really quick through this turn of the whoops also. He tries yeah. to... Out of that big run. Oh, it's going to be enough. And Ken Roxon is going to unite back-to-back victories in 2017. What a run for Ken Roxon. Yes, we do, Jenny. And here's those points with 15. 450. The adversity, the number one of Dungey's out front. The Cannon waiting for the 94. Where's a seventh here on the first lap? Makes the move on the bike so far that he's had this season. Right to second. Six seconds oh. separate Roxon and the leader. Here he comes. And both KTM and Muscat can feel it. Inside. Wow. Take confident that he has been this year. Inside of Cooper Webb. Here's Malcolm Stewart with Chad Reed and Eli Tomac in front of Roxon. As they fight over second place. Sealy his way through the pack pretty aggressively. Now he's kind of stalled out a little bit. Yeah, he picks up a couple tents on him. About corners. It's about the whoop section, and it's about being a... Holds up Sealy to... Oh! Down goes 
almost rocks it. It is down, and it looks like he's holding on to that left. Because of all the rain, the bottoms of the rhythm sections are really soft dirt, and it just launches him. This track to prepare it on how good the surface has been. And a huge twist to the storyline of this. 32, his first of 2017, as Ryan Dungey left the ceiling. Will take third. Round four underway. Old shot, Tomac around the outside, up on the berm. Puts the Kawasaki to a huge lead. And Dave third. And here comes a three-time champ, Ryan Dungeel, down the length of the straightaway, back around Mills. There, the 47. Oh, he gets bumped out oh. and down. Picking up already five and a half. And a big part of it, he said, was he just needed to work on getting the... He's trying on the inside. There he Got goes. Him. Reedy. Don't want to let Dungey get too far away. And Reed and Dungey. Nice. And it's also been the longest stretch in his career without a... It's been 12 races since the Australian's been up on the box. Just Reed, Reed to, to the, the inside. inside. What a move. Reed, what he was talking about. Oh, there goes Dungey. Sealy trying to fight back. Cuts him off. Dungy looking. He's seeing a much energy supercross here tonight as these gray riders fight for the Dungy. Here comes Reed. And the crowd absolutely loves it here. And he's looking to get on the podium here tonight. He's up to second. We saw that feature with Chad Reed talking about how he's left wins on the table. Out of uh, through the first section, Chad Reed's got the lead down to about 12 or 13. But Eli Tomac's going to tighten things up. He gets his first win. He is celebrating. Out respect from the crowd here, and that's what keeps that two-time champ. California is ready to get loud. Their moments this year, and Freezy comes out with the whole shot. Dungy is right. Boy, do they ever. Oh, man. That might be the biggest My move of the night, <laughs> Jeff. Right. Yeah, it's a good start for Webb. He's been pretty fired up and looks more comfortable with each year. Tom Hack trying to work around the outside. He's bringing Mooskin with him on lower. Webb trying to push through the woods. Look at him go. Wide. Here comes Tomac. Tomac's going to try to capitalize on this, too. Around the track. Tomac going after Anderson in the big box. That's for position. Turning it up and to the inside. Can he complete the pass? Here's a fight for second. Tomac is reeled up onto the back side of Cooper Webb. Tomac looking to get to the inside. They're putting the outside and then he's tripling out of the first turn. We'll see if he can catch a line oh. there. Going to the inside. There it is. Boy, the Cooper's not done. Oh, he caught it in the 3.4 seconds, 3.5 behind Dungey. Oh, the stink. He's got a beat on He's yeah. got a clear track. He can see him too, Jeff. He's just at the end of the rhythm. It's right here, wheelie, triple. Quad Omac look to his left. He's set on winning this race. Their feet. Here comes Eli. Start straight. He flies through the woods. But Dungey strong through there. Oh, Eli's ready to step up and make a championship bid. You see Tomac. But Tomac's quick to the corner. New leader. Race eighth on the first lap. Had a huge bobble. But the Kawasaki. Three minutes to go in this main event. Nails that triple quad again. Remember Dungy? Oh, he makes a big mistake. Here it is, checker fog, and Eli Tomac goes back to back. He's all in. There's Mike Williamson right there. Oh. We've already talked about that. You and I were just talking during the break. We tried to put in perspective. Ready to go. Get around the outside, but gets hung up. Moose Gant's going to get the whole shot. Moving into Ford. Anderson sliding his way, trying to get looking inside the Yamaha rider, forcing the move. Three, Webb, oh, there's... Vogel, Seeley, and Tomac, but he's got Kennard to deal with. And Baggett there on the number four. Look at Dungey to the inside. Wow, 
it's going. I'm down here by the whoop section, and it is really bad. Guys are going sideways. Up to fourth, and it puts him back in second place in the point. Ogle's not too back, makes a mistake again, and has to go double, triple in that section. It's then new scan, 49.2. And way back in the pep a little bit. Be careful. Give him some room. And Anderson has got a great start. Yep. It's a flat, Jeff. You can see it. Well, and, and I noticed today. I went a big change here because Eli Tomac just dumped it all on his own over here as well. Oh, and Tomac's got a problem. He's off yes. the track. He's got issues. Tucks the front end big time. Just stuffs it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm down here in the mechanics area. Something is wrong. So, yeah, they got some big problems here the point damage here and maybe lead with as many as he came into the 38 races he's been on the podium six straight going back is that read on the right side of the screen it is here's Dungey on the left finally trying to focus and stay present with what he's doing we've seen here tonight Get the whole shot and claims the win in Texas Frankie Latham his mechanic not here and you can be sure his wife Mattel will be there to join <laughs> That's so exciting for them. Well, when you take a what was six in a row. I mean, Weimer, Tickle, racing his dirt bike. He likes to mess around and drifting. Here they go, dropping the gate. Who's going to get the whole shot in the early lead? In third and fourth, and here comes Grant on the other Kawasaki. And sits third in the championship. Standings down, he goes. Oh. He touched them. He's going to be fifth. It's a tight wow. set. Millsaps leads. Millsap so far this year has been good in the heat, but now he's got the start he needed. Oh, look at that inside. Oh, Millsaps makes a little mistake. Here comes Tomac. Two time with him. Dungy coming after Davey. That's with his wife. And just getting back home. Tomac making it look easy, and it does seem like he's that type of rider that the worst. Second. And this would really shake some things up in the points. Every day. And there goes Muskan. Right by Dungey. Between Dungey and Muskan. So, and look at that. I mean, think about this. Muskan. Eli Tomac here in Minneapolis. Checkered flag at Eli Tomac. He was a half a second quicker than anyone else on the track. Right, as you take a look at the point standings here. With he and the final time, Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FAM World Championship would race and had won here five times. Ricky Carmichael and Jeremy McGrath. Meanwhile, the racing was outstanding, but for Chad Reed on the Yamaha. Marvin Muscan was trying to make up some positions, got into Vogel, and down he went. Anderson, an aggressive move on Sealy. He just pulls out of the way and lets the husk bag it and made this move to take over second. And over the finish line jump, there'd be enough time for him to catch your leader, Ryan Dungey. He closed in four seconds, but this roost in the sand section cost him time. When it was over, Ryan Dungey became the third rider to win here five times in this famed building. And hope for victory. In the back. Tomac needed a good start. He's coming out second. Tomac, great run through that rhythm section, Jeff. This could be for the lead. Tickle, rounding out your top three. But Tomac's on a mission. The finish line jump. Let's see where he is in the field. Well, Half remember, five. Reed, one of the heat winners. There comes Dungey. Dungey is going to be listed in nine. Who had 103 degree temperature on Wednesday, only rode on Tuesday. Dungey, he just makes it by. Everyone else stacks up to the left of Freezy. Boy, that can Seely goes flying wow. through the woods. Oh, oh, man. That's a mistake, and he absolutely T bones the. Fortunate that he hasn't gone down at all. There he triples past Seely. Skimming over the tops of these whoops as Reed gets by Stewart. Two second lead over Baggett. Just set the best lap of 56.7. Baggett and Dungey. Tomac going for win number four. He's holding off the champ, but the question is for how long? Tickle getting the points. Yep, don't give up. Made one pass, right? right. He started second, made one pass to win. And Dungy, ironically, win number four in 2017 comes in Toronto. The first time in his career in Monster Energy Supercross. Get ready to drop the gate at Daytona.
home run. It goes down. Moose Can, who jumped through the gate, got hung up behind him. Martin's out front. Boy, what a debut for Martin on yeah. this factory Honda. Okay, this is the position you want to be in. This is what you've been waiting for. At the end of wow. the first lap, because he was about ninth there at the end of the first lap. Look at all that Toronto. work Dungey has. Dallas, at Dallas, at Texas Stadium. You ready for this? 1975. Oh, oh boy, oh, down goes Martin. Here he oh, comes. Oh, he's right there. Crowd on their feet, watching. You set that pass up. He's going to have to get aggressive here. Well, this 180 at the end. Of what's going to happen? Look at this. He's very good oh. through that rhythm lane through there, too. Yeah. Incredibly fast through there. Cuts back inside, bangs oh. with Weimer, and the champion picks up a couple more points. The crowd favorite on the podium here at Daytona oh. once again. Oh! oh. Corner is full. Oh. This. Oh. Wow. Brayton got lucky. Tomac laid back a little bit, Jeff, or do you think that uh, think you think the nerves might be starting to set? I could win this, and then really start to change for you. Tomac, of course, he's going to pour it on right now. Right here, check it out. See Inside. Ya. Come on. No, says Martin. I'm oh. not done. Got Just him. as quick on the throttle. Oh, there it is. Monster Energy, Kawasaki, the factory rider, Eli Tomac. Yeah, he's a ways behind the guys in front of him. So here, Alessi's here's Alessi. He got him. Jim. Exactly what he wants to see. Look at Dungey going to go for the pass right here. Side. There you go. Much cleaner run through there for Dungey. Boy, Reed got on the gas hard. He's going to shave a bunch of points off. Back to back at Daytona. Eli Tomac is your winner. To the line. Takes him wide. Dungey tries to fight through. Reed, what a battle. Who's going to get it? Dungey gets another pass. And an unbelievable effort by Ryan Dungey. Ready to race in Indy. Baggett with a great start on the four, but look, the two title by side for second. Tomac on the three, Dungey on the one to get right into the mix. He's fourth in the point standings. Muskan snaps. Tomac clears Dungey. Here comes Mutt. Struggle through qualifying. It gets that second place start. As we watch the battle for third heating up between the two Red Bull KTM riders. He totally is. They're training partners. They're teammates on Red Bull KTM. Started off pretty aggressive in this main event. There goes Tomac. And now here he comes leaping to the inside. And the reigning champ moves into second. With Tomac getting the win. He will bite into Dungey's points lead once again. He's going to close right up. Don't forget, it's 20 minutes and a lap here for the main events. And we really saw, like what I'm seeing out of the champ. We saw that fight at way up to fourth to minimize the damage of the points. A championship. Second points. All of a sudden, they found their way back to the lead at this time of year. Oh, they're going at it. There's no doubt these two riders have the speed. Right ride out of our a rider in third, the number four of Blake Baggett on that Rocky Mountain. MC the pace of the best Supercross riders on the planet. 0.3 seconds that Tomac gained just that last lap. Now he goes by Malkwitz to Tomac. Well, we saw the same thing happen. So interesting. The training partners, their friends, their teammates. Whoa, takes him high. The great Belgian racer, Roger de Coster, watching this battle between him through the sky here in Indy and Muskan. Moves in front of the reigning champ, Iwasaki. And now, with this win in Indianapolis, Eli of Ryan Dungey. Here comes Heels in the fight for the 2017 step of the podium tonight. Really quick. Oh, he almost jumps on the back of Tomac. And that's Moosecan on the 25. But Jeff, in recent weeks, he's got... Let's see as they come lap. over the finish line jump. Where is the shot of the year here tonight in Detroit? Moosecan felt terrible last week because he passed Dungey at the end. It's all about trying to perform for yourself. Now Tomac starting to close it up a little bit. Boy, Tomac's good through the whoops, Jeff. Really good. Quickly 
Tomac in the whoop, switch from the outside and cut back to the... That's going to add some nerves to... What, oh, oh there it is! There it is! Every one of these passes Dungey makes like that one, hell of work just to catch Millsaps. But he's got third. He wants to get on the podium. But here's the inside. How about now? Dungey! It's all inside! Watch this here. Dungey's going to go right. Right here! He's got the That's inside! Enough. There it is! He's going to go to Eli Tomac, who lights the candles in the Motor City. Mooskin will finish second. Dungey. Jeff, down to seven. Here's the deal. We go to St. Louis next week. St. Louis, drop the gate and let's go. Dungey with the early lead. Here comes Dungey to the next corner. Tomac on the inside. Contact at the two. Mooskin's fighting with Anderson. They're squabbling over third. Meanwhile, they gain as much time as you can. Try to... You know, try to do a roll reversal. Put the pressure on Tomac. Those danger areas. The championship fight playing on here in St. Louis. Ten minutes to go and then one lap. Before the series, Dungey has been faster the last four laps. And he's cut it to one. He's about 13 seconds. It off. is all about these oh, two. It is. That the mechanic has with the rider. Uh, they talked about to start reeling you in, you know, the last half of the race. Here's Reed with Tomac. Reed ain't moving out of the way either. Blue, Blue flag's flag. waving. Three seconds again now, the gap. On timing and scoring. And right, as a rider, that's so frustrating. Look at that, a whole lap now. Carlos, not happy breaking this pit board. Not sure if those two are related on the right. And he's right behind his team. That yeah. time around. This is killing Ryan Dungey right now. Any triple triple section. Now Reed pulls out of the way. Eli Tomac on his way for 15th of the all time win list. Eli Tomac wins. Here comes Ryan Dungey. The title fight separated. The goggles go into the grandstand. Dungey looking for Reed. Oh, no doubt about That's it. That's who he wants to see. And of course, the man who trains Ryan Dungey. And there's Roger DeCoster. You know, to Ryan. If he's for real, then what he is saying there, he might be mentally in the right. City, let's go! Jason Anderson at the end of the rhythm lane, and Dungey's got a massive problem at the Tough tail watch, yeah. end of the long and all. Man, that's unbelievable! He's at the tail end of the field, and Carlos Rivera doesn't know what to do. Muscan is out in the lead, oh, and Dungey has more problems! And yep. yanks it out, goes right in front of Bogle. Bogle goes right, just dominant. So he's got less time to get through the field. That puts him around the 314, and continuing to lead. Tomac shown in eighth, Dungey in 15. Anderson, Webb. Tomac working his way to the front. Right there, triple. He's going by. Here he comes. Crowd on their feet. Tomac picks up the front wheel and goes by Webb. That puts him into third. Webb comes. Going to the inside. Got it. Nice move. Oh, and he slaps the front. Here he comes. Tomac leaps past. Tomac listed in fourth. Here they come. Here's Dungey, who's... Oh, he comes up oh, way man. short on that double. He's in that turn. Bike going backwards on the track. Anderson, Anderson. cuts inside. Oh, oh, Webb! Oh, G. That's going to represent two points also. Yep. It's going to keep. Oh, man. How much will Tomac oh, risk? Look at that. That was a triple. Here he comes. Got him. He's scanned. Just dominated this main event. Dungey gets Marvin Moosecan wins his second career Monster Energy Supercross. Winning lap, the reigning champ, frustrated in. Congratulated Frankie Latham. That's Marvin Moosecan's mechanic right there. How great is that of Dungey to take the time to tip the cap? Tomax buried in the pack. He got the start he needed, just like he did in his heat race. 
Dungy now just has to get around Bogle and get around Bogle to grab the lead. We saw earlier this year at Daytona and Seattle. Dun Second hole shot of the year for Bogle. And here's Tomac. Already up to 10th. Had a terrible start. 17th at Daytona, 19th at Seattle, and he worked his way all the way up to fourth on both of those nine. Times have been so quick oh. that we're pretty sure we're gonna have a lot of laps. Make a huge difference for Tomac. We're thinking 27, 28 laps. It's off of the lead, I'm sorry, Tomac. 9.7 seconds off of the lead. Now he makes the move on Brayton. He's gonna have a little bit of- He'll get another one. Here he comes inside, got it. Gets around Dixling the number four. Here Look goes Tomac inside of Reed. There's wow. another point. And quickly he'll have baggage in a ton of time. Just inside of 14 minutes Whoa. and one lap. Bogle with the issues. He goes down. And Tomac gets. Here's he goes oh, for there a pass. He goes. And now no team orders necessary. Tomac just. And now he'll try to see if he can catch Jason Anderson. Oh, man. <laughs> What a championship fight this is. Five seconds between Dungey and Tomac. As Tomac closes in on Anderson. Well, it Anderson's got his hands full. And Jeff, we're inside of 10 and a half minutes. We're, here we go. Here's Tomac. And around Anderson he goes. Oh, it's still tripled out of that turn. Oh, did the crowd back there, you'd be kidding yourself. He knows exactly what's going on right now. He, and this kind of mimics what we've seen for two months. Ryan Dungey riding protective of his points lead. And this is doing everything he can do, and it's paying off. He's made the passes that he's needed to get into second, and now he's got Dungey and his men are going to be integral here in how this fight plays out tonight because they need to encourage their riders. 5.4 to Dungey's 46.2. Jeff, we're in the point of the race. Too. Throughout his career, Tomac has had a tendency to ride in, in a, at a very high level. Now, take a look at the riding position of these two riders as they attack the rhythm lane. As well, guys. This positive reinforcement for Dungey, but look at Tomac. Oh, oh man. is on him. Now, what does Dungey have left? How much is he willing to risk tonight? Well, the crowd has been on their feet this whole main event. They know what's on the line. The world. One started first, one started well outside the top ten, and they find themselves together once. Side! Oh, they were part of bar, and Dungey knows his title rival is right on him. There it is. Tomac's here! But he oh. makes a mistake, and Dungey comes back. Right. Takes him wide, slows him down. Tomac's such smart riding, Ralph. He knew that Dungey had the option. Tomac again! That's been oh, his spot. he slows him down, takes the inside away. Tomac moves in front of Dungey in the points by the same amount. That's on his number. Now, I gotta follow his lines. I gotta pick it up because if put on two wheels and win this main event, which would be his ninth of the season. I mean, think about it. At one point, Tomac was 10.8 seconds uh, behind Dungey on line. It's Eli Tomac who lights the candles in Salt Lake and takes a three point lead. Ryan Dungey. Whew. That was, uh, that was something. That, the Colorado. That was an epic performance. The one side of Tomac. Wow, Dungey. They're battling for third. Dungey and Tomac. The inside is Moosekin. Tomac tries to get around the outside. He'll have the inside of the next corner. Knight and Dungey takes the spot away from him. I can thread the needle. Here comes Tomac right back. Will these two get together this year? Millsaps is just in front of him, and Anderson has a race lead. Trying to get to the inside. Now Moosekin getting into the fray. See what he's doing, and just, just tag along, and I think it's going to be a battle to the end. The pressure is on right now. Now Millsaps. There he goes. Dungey goes around the oh, Six points. Oh! Tomac is down! Dungey's in the lead! Points are just drifting away from Tomac. Can he get the big Kawasaki down? There he goes. How far down is Tomac? Still trying to do is go out and handle it. And just tucks the front end, goes down, trying to exit to turn the back. Almost dead last, coming out of the gate at the start of the race. And he back now in a position where there is he cannot be patient. He, now it's 14 back. 
to Dungey. Misses that rhythm section big time right now. And Tomac. And here's Dungey. He's got to deal with his teammate, Muskan. And if Muskan can get around him, that. Dungey out or himself, but look at right here. Try to get by him. He's got guys on rails. And guess what? In front of him also. He's got, yeah. he's and, got two oh, points. And look at that. He stalls. Unbelievable. Gives up a position to Reed. Reed. It's cross redded. Oh, and backs out of it. Cases the double even. Gene has reeled in Moose Gammon. They're really starting to set up a bit of a battle here. Boy, that's in, Jeff. Will he make a run at him? Marvin Muscan through the mechanics area after the finish line. Just look. Muscan is certainly not pulling over. Dungey's having to earn this. I got to believe in East Rutherford, New Jersey. You can, says Carlos. Dungey risk. Oh, Muscan. Points. A huge moment in the championship right there. Three awaits and the red plate going to Vegas. And Tomac just rolls the finish line jump in utter disgust. And meanwhile, Ryan Dungey, his third win of the year. Am I? The officials are stopping him. He's got to go to the podium. And, uh, and I was the guy to make the mistake, you know, and just wash the front end out. So um, that's really all there was to it. Uh, Marvin had the lead until the very end of the race. Then Ryan was able to get around him. If, uh, if the championship does come down to those three points, that's that's a bummer. You want to take it, take that home, and, and sleep on that at night, knowing that someone uh, pulled over for you. Then it is what it is. Stalking his biggest prey and doing it with blazing speed. One more time, one more gate drop. Vegas. Chip fight is on. Tomax trying to hustle to third. Dungey to second. He's got Baggett. And the crowd come to their feet here at Sam Boyd Stadium. That both of these riders in crunch time here have found their way into first Dungey and Tomac here over the next 18 minutes plus a lap. Remember third, back and forth. Here's Tomac. He's got the lead. Fourth or better is what Dungey has got to be. Here. Well, Dungy, he hears the Kawasaki rider. Look what happens. Anderson on that rock star Husqvarna. He's awful hungry. Dungy. Tomac's only ally is his teammate, Josh Grant, who's now made his way. Oh, they pushed each other many times, and Dungy's inside, fighting for second as we won McGrath, Stewart Reed, and Carmichael, all of whom went on to win the championship that year. He could be the only one out of the six Supercross championships. Well, and Ralph, one week ago, we were in the same position, and Eli, energy of the crowd, cheering you on. We're hunters and the hunted. And I just think that Ryan's finding his groove, finding where Eli is better, and makes the spot. One thing that's happening here, Jeff, with these two battling, everybody else is closing in. That could help Tomac here, because he needs people to get around, waiting to see with so much pride, not just champion. Here, right through here. There's Lindsey Dungey, Ryan's wife. Eight minutes, and a plus lap. a lap. And we maybe, saw the 250 check. Maybe that he's trying to just stalk Eli, Eli Tomac and force him. Chasing Tomac. Pretty much a clear track right now. Just one lap rider about it. Oh, he misses the quad. Oh, there goes Dungey around the outside. Does in his spare time. And his prey that he's stalking now is a nuts. One lap left in the season. Tomac's into Dungey. Dungey's off track. Grant. Did he get on smoothly, Jeff? Was that the right spot for him it to was. get on? It was. That was the same okay. place on the track. This is going to be incredible to the end as Grant gets around back in now. That he wants Dungey to ride with a little bit more there. He is telling him what happens there. And Ralph, this ride that's oh, the back is problem. He's out. Okay, in any way, shape, or form is Anderson. Here's Dungey, listen to the crowd, look, six tenths and 1.3 seconds. That's a huge gap the way these two have raced here tonight. They love that inside the line there. One of the slowest corners we've seen all season. You gotta wonder if it'll impact and how hard those whoops are. Oh, and Reed, Reed's going after Anderson. 
intercepts it back inside on Reed. Reed to the Bills. He got over it. Oh, man. That could have been just, just the type of luck that does you need it because runs. And even further back will be Anderson Wilson now in fifth and Reed in sixth. Watch Lindsey. Watch the snap. So flag is out. Watch right here. Dungey's going to go to the left side. It's six between the two. And there goes Dungey. There's the exclamation point one way or the other. Tomac comes back. Reed goes by. Where's the rest? Grant will move. Grant is third, Dungy is fourth, over at Eli Tomac, the 27th. Giving you the The two-time champion himself, Maggot, and the fireworks go off. Joining Showtime, there's Carlos Rivera. Smart, Troy. As you celebrate. That's awesome, man. Give me a hug. All right. Great job.